Jai Ganesh. So I want to start a new series, Murthy's Mythology with Manoj. Keep it short. Seven minutes is a goal, but it's a goal like this here. Yeah? So we always start with Ganesh, and I'm going to bring some of my more favorite Murthy's, but they're all good. They like children, but some I like more at this moment because they just came from India. So this Ganesh is what I call Lalla Ganesh, L-A-L-L-A, -L -L -A, -L -A, more like a kid, Bala Ganesh. And uh, I just love this one. The eyes are in like a dreamy meditation. And uh, the trick question is, where's the mouse? He doesn't have a mouse, but you and I are the mouse. Our mind is the mouse. We make Ganesh complete. So when we look at this Ganesh, we feel a certain peace. The mind slows down. And that's why obstacles are removed, because the obstacles are in our mind. So when we become the mouse of Ganesh, we get complete ourselves. So the other big thing about him is the big head. The big head is really a, a vast storehouse of wisdom. Ganesh is a lord of wisdom and buddhi, intellect. Another name is buddhi priya. And, uh, you know, uh, he wrote the Mahabharata, and uh, that's why he has a broken tusk. You see, every Ganesha's tusk is broken. There's a broken tusk. There's an intact tr tusk. But the idea is, uh, you know, uh, he was asked to write it in one stream of consciousness when Veda Vyasa dictated to Ganesh the Mahabharata from where the Bhagavad Gita came. So the, when the ink ran out, he broke his tusk. It's very significant because he's given a part of himself to a sacred text such as the Gita. It also symbolizes don't procrastinate, get the job done. It also symbolizes non-duality. This teachings of Vedanta, which these murtis come into, symbolize self-realization. So you have to remove the stuff that doesn't serve you and what's left is the oneness. It's like you break a window, the inside outside vanishes, there's only one. So when you break the broken tusk, what's left is the oneness of consciousness. The big head is not only wisdom, he also holds the Akashic records. Remember the Nadi scrolls I talk about where our whole lives are revealed, mine, yours, Right from birth, your parents, your spa partner, your child, your occupation, your whole life, every instant is recorded. That includes your death. And Ganesh, you can say, is the author of the Nadi Scrolls. That's a big head. And we can be like Ganesh as an archetype. Can we, in our lives, remember other people's stories? Can we remember their conversations? Can we remember, uh, you know, what, uh, how they get inspired in the hero's journey? And can you help them? This way you're embodying the Ganesh archetype. So we can be like Ganesh and literally remember. We can have a Siddhi, a power of remembering conversations of people. And uh, that's a one way to embody Ganesh. It's not about you, it's about everyone else. The big ears symbolize viveka, discernment. The axe, it chops this pull the world has on our ego. And the axe symbolizes viveka, again discernment. And uh, the rope, he uh, pulls us back to the self. So the rope adds uh, another sort of, uh, the world is very manipulative. And it uh, attracts us with all this stuff, the junk food of the body, the junk food of the mind, with all this technology, screens. So the rope which Ganesh uses to pull you back to the spiritual path is building a higher level of uh, what is called samskara, okay, which is a deeper groove in our mind that can happen when you follow the spiritual path outlined by Ganesh. And ultimately, you realize Ganesh as an archetype 
within you and you can chant mantras to Ganesh Om Gam Ganapate Namaha that drops you in the space between your thoughts and open your eyes to Ganesh very beautiful Ganesh this is a blessing a bhaya he's saying I got you we all need a little help so it means no fear but it can also mean like uh, in your journey, you may have some anxieties and fear, but do it anyway. So that is the Abhaya. Jai Ganesh.